YouTube model building community, Chris Chapman here at the Rusty Mets Model Shop, wishing you all a wonderful weekend. It's coffee time, Rusty K. I'm drinking my coffee with your coffee this morning, watching your video. Cool Christmas presents there, buddy. Getting a little bit late start here because I've been working on some models. Not what you think, though. No. We'll get into my update here in a minute. I've had a crap load of issues going on with the YouTube Google crap. I, uh, for some reason, on my Google Mail, my Gmail account, I cannot receive any messages. I'm not receiving any notifications of any videos. I'm not receiving any, <coughs> oh, excuse me, anything. <coughs> ah, sorry, still got a little bit of my cough from when I was cold. Anything from anybody on my Google. My email account is down. Figured it might have been my Google Chrome. So I went and I put up Firefox. The Firefox won't even let me access Google or the Gmail or anything it comes on saying that it can't be completed because of uh, cookies and I have no idea so my uh, email account and everything has been down for two weeks now and don't know why it's doing what it's doing but oh my gosh it is annoying so I'm able to go over to the YouTube and hit my subscribers and then I can see everything that you guys are posting problem is is I'm only being able to get two out of five videos to upload and play the other ones keep telling me that there's a critical error and it can't load the video the ones that I am able to get up and watch, two out of five of those keep going and saying that I can't leave post comments because I don't have permissions. And I've never heard of any needing permission to leave a comment unless of course somebody doesn't like the comment you leave and they block you then yeah, you're going to have to contact them and say, dude, I didn't really mean to piss you off that bad. Unless you did, but if they blocked you, who cares? <laughs> uh, and so I don't know what's going on with it. I posted my year-end review and half the time I could get it to come up to go and look and see what you guys have posted on comments and I've commented back and half the time I had to sit there and try 20 times to get it to load up I loaded two other videos and it shows that they're loaded and that they're there but there's no views no comments no nothing they've been up for three days now or three to six days and I go to bring them up and watch them and it tells me I don't have permission to watch my own videos so I don't know what's going on but I mean two weeks into this crap and it's like really starting to get to me I'm gonna try to do this coffee time hopefully it'll make it up and you guys can see it and then I'll come back but you know when I watch your videos I comment and <coughs> most of you guys comment back and I just haven't been able to see your comments coming back and to go back and search out each video that I was able to see, try 20 times to get it to come back to see what your comments were back to me. It's usually, oh, thanks, bud. And I just appreciate everybody. Now, if anybody, if I left a comment, because there has been a couple where I said, oh, this would have looked good if I would have done this, or there was a question and I answered it. If any of you guys got a reply or a response to that, go to Google Plus, bring me up, and then ask the question there and let me respond or whatever if you have any more questions. As far as I know, I'm getting Google Plus stuff still coming up occasionally. 
but I have to go to the site and then it shows everything that's there. But if you do it on a message to me over there, then maybe I'll get it. So, today's music's brought to us by YouTube, Old Country Female Singers. In one of them kind of moods. This whole Google Plus thing and everything got me messed up. As you guys saw on a previous coffee time where I didn't do the video because I was sick, <coughs> I had mentioned a couple of people that had lost their channels and they're back. A couple new people. I've got a couple more to add to that list, so I'm going to go ahead again. LD Speed Shop. Larry, back up and running, got his shop going and models, slowly putting up videos to replace the ones that were taken away. So people need to go check out LD Speed Shop. Again, I'll put all these at the end. Henry Leonard, I've talked to him about him a number of times. That guy's putting out a few videos now and stuff. He's kind of getting into it, getting to know some of the community members and stuff. Going subscribe to a great great builder great person I chat with him all the time and stuff Carolina man I saw this guy's first video after the day that I posted my coffee time where I was sick and wasn't on video brand new to the community and just getting back into it an older gentleman and stuff so Carolina man I'd like you guys go check him out subscribe to him show him some love as well Mill best one. The, for some reason, this name sounds really familiar to me, but he's brand new. And I think it may have been somebody that had his channel hijacked by the YouTube jerks, the stupid YouTube people. And this could be a remake of his channel. If it is him, great stuff. You guys are going to really enjoy what he puts out. If it's not him, he's putting out some great stuff. And welcome to the community, bud. If you watch, I don't know if you're sub to me or not. But great, 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 great stuff going on on his channel also. Another guy, Transition Modeler. Been checking out a few of his. This was like two weeks ago, so... <coughs> this is before all my problems with the uh, thing, and I squeezing in like videos here and there as I can I'm able to see every couple of Cranky's videos and then they go away and so that's where I'm at but I want you guys to check these guys out seriously go and watch them because they got some good stuff coming out um two weeks ago again also way back when Gaz the, gay, woo woo woo, Gaz the K asked a question, best build for me so far? That would have to be my Ford Victoria. I did a rust job on it, airbrushed, all acrylic paints and stuff. Won best of show, best paint, first place and four different shows with it. One of my best, most popular models and most successful models. Pause for slideshow. Okay, we're back now. Hope you enjoyed that. Now I'm going to throw in my best build for 2014. That'd be my 55 Ford Cranky Calendar Truck. Reason is, is I tried a whole bunch of different techniques that I'd never tried before on this. And just flip flop switched colors all the way around and everything. Pause for slideshow.
Okay, so you can see how I did all that weird stuff to it. It was pretty cool. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. That was a fun one for me. Okay, I'm going to go like this, so that way when I'm watching this, I'll know when to go back to put my paws and my slideshows in. Uh, okay, there's my cue. Uh, uh, thinking on the fly, people. Not just a hat rack. Uh, so that's it for Gazake. That, those are my best builds. I was pretty happy with 2015. You guys saw my slideshow and things, hopefully. And... Came out pretty good. Had a good year. Reason I was able to pump out so much is the first six months of the year I was unemployed and had nothing better to do. Slowed way down on the tail end of the year. Slowly working on stuff, and I'm gonna try to get some work in on my cancer build this weekend. But I've just when I get home from work, I got some little things that I'm hand painting and stuff. And I'll get into that here as my bench update comes up. I tried to do a video on my helicopter. That was one of the other videos that I posted and probably just gonna have to redo it and repost it and hopefully you guys will see it but I just don't understand what the hell's going on. That's right Barbara Mandrell you was country when country wasn't cool. Beautiful lady. Man, there's some beautiful women back in country music in the 70s and 80s. So glad to be a part of that era where I was able to watch them. Okay, now, I already discussed that. I put that at the back end. <laughs> Another person. This one here is going straight to somebody. Chip. Chevy Cheeseburger. What's up, buddy? You like disappeared on us. You do a video expressing some feelings and one or two people get upset that you did that and the rest of everybody agreed with a lot of what you were saying, including me. Some people without names being mentioned threw their hands up, oh, it's me, and then took offense. It's too bad. You're trying to help people and because one or two people get upset and naturally or automatically throw their stuff out there as being the ones that you're talking about Fido's hind end when you never mentioned a name. Just, you quit videos, buddy. It's no way to treat the community the, uh, that looks up to you, bud. We really need to have you back in here doing some videos and stuff and, you know, you made some comments and you made some statements that a couple of people took offense to, but not everybody's going to be happy. 98.9999999% of the people that watch your video agrees with you that if you can help somebody, do it. Now, I wouldn't necessarily tell them, hey, your model looks like Fido's hiding end. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't think you would either. You were just pointing out what you were saying that hey that really looks horrible I can help this person and that's what your video was about and now you're just gone you disappeared buddy you gotta come back we miss you the whole community misses you I'm getting messages and texts and voicemail and the Google or uh, Facebook messenger talking to a lot of people and they're wondering where you're at you're a great asset to this community. Your words are very important to a lot of us. And for you to turn around and have two people get critical of comments that you make, you know, their models are good, but they do have places. I have places that I can improve. The problem is, and the difference is, is I'm not gonna take offense to it if somebody offers me suggestions. If somebody wants to call up and say, hey, that looks like crap, please do. It's the only way I'm going to learn to be able to get better. And if I'm going to take offense to it, then I'm just never going to get better. Oh, could I have this dance and Murray. 
people, you guys think I'm weird for music I listen to, I'm sure, but I don't care. <laughs> I hope I didn't just offend two people out there. And I'm not saying anything about any particular person whatsoever. The work that everybody does is good. And that's one thing is it has to start out good to become great. And so this here is garbage, people. That's just junk. If I build a model like that and I took it over to the... Uh, show and put it in and people said why did you bring that piece of crap I would understand why they say that but that's why this is just a test thing to try out new techniques and colors and rusting and got some new washes and things this testers effects FX stuff that's $6.99 and they had it on clearance for $1.40 picked up every color they had in the washes and the stains and I'll be honest with you I had no idea how they worked yeah. you can see here I got my coffee in my hand so you can see here I put a little bit of rust on it and I did another color rust over here just to see what it would look like that fender sorry that fender right there is a rust wash so I put it on there just to see how it would look, and it looks like crap. <laughs> so I'm going to have to turn around, and I know what washes are for, is to fit, sink in, and this and that. <coughs> Don't know what the stains are supposed to do, but I'm going to play with it, find out. But Chip, you got to come back. You know, if you're feeling that bad because you got a couple people upset with you, do an apology video for them particular people and for anybody that took offense to your comments and start showing us the work you're doing in your updates. You had some great builds going on that just poof disappeared. It's not cool, buddy. A lot of people wondering where, where you're at and how you're doing. You've got a business to run over there. And if you have a dissatisfied customer, you don't close up shop. You turn around and make it better, so I'm sorry, here you go. You did that for me once. I ordered a couple of uh, ignition coils from you. You ended up sending me one. I called you on the phone. Oh, yeah, it says here, two quantity. i got to remember to look at that. Bam, two days later, I had the second one in the mail, including some pipettes. Boop. You know, you're a great guy, Chip. you got to come back. We need you here in the community. You're a big part of it. You're one of the people that started a lot of us on our journey of the videos and getting into different stuff. Oh. So we're missing you, Chip. Lots of love. Here's a hug. Okay. Oh, I'm squeezing, buddy. Can you feel it? Squeeze. Oh. Come on. Come back to us. We need you. Okay. My bench update. I'm sorry, people. Between work, <coughs> squeezing stuff in and things, I just haven't had a lot to be able to do. Got my helicopter done. I'm trying to get some stuff on my cancer build, but I've got to have more time to be able to work on that so each night I have a half an hour 45 minutes I did a little bit more and I'm working on a 170 second that's right I said a 170 second scale military kit See if I can get this with that that's it right there German motorcycles Went online, looked up a bunch of pictures. This is what they look like on the back. I'll tell you what, people. These things are like that big for the figures. Here, I'll prove it to you. That big. 
You see that? Holy smokes, them things are small. But I'm trying to do my best that I can. You can. I'm trying to do a lot of detail, which I probably shouldn't. You're not going to really be able to see this. I'm going to have to do a slideshow when I get these done, and they should be done today. I'm just waiting for it, and then I'm going to weather them up a little bit. I need to turn them all over. There's a gunner, the operator of the motorcycle, the backseat rider. you got a couple different things here. And you got some foot soldiers that kind of go along with you. And you can't really see them on this right now. They're going to have to be taken. But here's just one of the motorcycles that I did. I weathered them up. Tried to make them look dirty and used. So you can't just see. This doesn't want to come in good. I don't know if this light's going to make it worse or help. Hard to see, but got the exhaust all rusted up on it. That's probably looking horrible for you guys. So I just got to fig figure out or finish up the figures. See, I have two of them for the uh, sidecars. And I have two regular bikes. That's what they look like. So, I'm going to try to put these into a diorama. I need to get with uh, Dan Leroy over there at Papa Dan's Models. Find out what book he had that he got on his little vacation because there was a lot of stuff on dioramas and oh my coffee's telling me it's been two hours I gotta brew up some more I need to find out what book he has it I need to learn how to do figures more and I'll tell you what I did some 132nd figures these guys right here this is one of them. I really enjoyed that. And these ones here, just I airbrushed a black on them. Then I painted them up and I hand painted all these with craft acrylic paints. And where you don't have a lot of time, these are fun because you can go in there and just work on them for a half an hour, 40 minutes, then put them away. So if you're sitting there waiting for something to dry and you need 30 minutes, pull one of them out and had a blast. So then I got this one here, 172nd scale. Now, I have one that's a 176 scale that's put away that's even smaller. But look at the difference. This is a 172nd. Pick a boo! Pick a boo! Pick a boo! Look how much bigger the 132nd is than the 172nd. Oh no, it's a Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> These are fun. I've got a couple 132nd scale military models that have been mailed to me as Christmas and birthday presents. You know who you are and thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So this has given me an opportunity to kind of get into something. I'm really enjoying these little figures. <coughs> I mentioned in a video, I don't watch the people's videos doing the figures because I'm not into it. Well, now I've built a couple of them, and now I'm looking at the little one-tenth scale bust figures. I just might be looking into watching some of Chris's uh, figure paintings over a classic plastic. Oh, Jamie, um, 
Harding or who, oh, I can't remember. You know who you are, Jamie. Thanks for understanding me, not remembering. You're going to have to watch some of his. Going back to Dr. Cranky's little scale uh, game piece figures. Not into that yet. But who knows? I'm kind of getting into trying some other stuff like this. Military builds. I had a blast at that helicopter and it broke it up from my other builds. So. It's kind of a good thing to kind of throw in a variety. I haven't ever done that, and here I am with my cancer build, my Jimmy build, Fast Jimmy. Glad to see you back, buddy. And I've got two other builds that are just on the shelf that I just I haven't really had the urge or desire to work on them and a lot of it has to do with well I can't really get my airbrush out I only have 30 minutes and it'll take longer than that to do what I want and weekends have been crazy with things my mom came in this week and I've been busy with her she flew back up to Portland this morning and so I just <coughs> keep looking at it thinking I want to get some of this done but I just don't have the time. Well, I'll spend a half an hour on this. So I'm still having something to do. Now that my Google tube crap things out. So, that's about it for this episode of Coffee Time. Again, Rusty K. Maybe you can watch this tomorrow and share a cup with me as I shared one with you this morning. And if you did good, bud. So again, Chris Chapman, Rusty Nuts Model Shop. I want to wish everybody a Merry Merry Christmas. A Happy New Year. Hope everybody just has a great time with their friends, their family, their loved ones. And 2015 is almost upon us. Let's hope it's a much better year for many, many of us. And Gonna get another video up for a buddy of mine, Dan. <coughs> Excuse me, Dan Sheridan. Keep an eye out on that because need some help. Mentioned him before, so I'm gonna cut this one short so you guys can have a chance to watch that, and I'm gonna try to get something up that maybe YouTube will allow you guys to see. Again, thank you very much. To everybody, all my subscribers and everything, Merry Christmas.